Something going on, bruh. Something going on. The zombie apocalypse is happening. Oh shit, and I'm right down the street from my house. Oh, we about to die. Oh shit, bruh. Oh shit, bruh. Oh shit, bruh. All right, it's not zombies. Somebody just got into a car accident. All right, yo, what's good, you guys? Um, This is gonna be a trick tip video, but it's like super windy outside, so I'm just gonna like talk, like explain the tricks that I'm gonna be talking about here while I show you guys clips of me skating outside. Like I'm gonna do like a voiceover of me skating because the weather sucks. Honestly, I didn't even know like if I was gonna upload a video today because of everything that's going on, like it's just hard to film stuff. Um, but anyway, I went on Instagram and I asked you guys what trick tips you guys wanted me to make. And honestly, look at this, I got a lot, a lot of trick tips. You know, because of this whole coronavirus thing and everything, I'm probably gonna be making a bunch of trick tip videos, honestly, because you guys always ask me for trick tips. Um, and I haven't made a trick tip in like quite a while. I used to make them a lot. And because I got so many and because just, I just regularly get asked to make trick tip videos a lot. Um, when I do make trick tip videos, I'm probably gonna do multiple tricks in one video just so it's not like just a bunch of trick tip videos being uploaded all the time. But anyway, today mostly I got, you know what, let me screenshot all of these. But anyway, mostly today I got asked to make back 180 trick tips and backside flip trick tips. And I just thought since those two tricks are pretty much the same except ones with the kickflip, I'll just put both of those in one video. So this is what this video is gonna be. It's gonna be a back 180 trick tip and a backside flip trick tip. Okay, first one I'm gonna do is back 180 because that one's like really simple. Like that one's, like that one doesn't have a lot of explaining to it. So I'm just gonna put that one first. So yeah, the first one, back 180. First things first is foot placement. My foot placement for a back 180 is literally the exact same as just a normal ollie. Like nothing is different about the foot placement from an ollie and a backside 180, at least for me. Because backside 180 is literally, it's just an ollie, but you turn with it. Because back 180 is literally just an ollie, you just have to turn it. Um, and the way to get it to turn is obviously turning your shoulders. Now, a lot of people, when people say turn your shoulders, they try to ollie first and then turn their shoulders, which is, a lot harder like it makes the trick way more difficult than it needs to be me whenever I do like a front 180 trick or a back 180 trick I always turn my shoulders before I even do the trick so like as you turn your shoulders your body is already going in that direction so then when you pop it just makes it so much easier to already be turning you know what I mean like because your shoulders are already turned before you even pop or like as you're popping your body's just naturally gonna go the way that your shoulders are going so it's just gonna make the trick so much easier so don't ollie and then turn your shoulders turn your shoulders and then do the ollie same thing with big spins i get a lot of um people asking me how i do big spins like the secret to big spins is turn your shoulders before you even do the trick like pretty much you're gonna want to already be looking behind you before you do the trick it just makes it so much easier now after you turn your shoulders do the ollie and you turn you're gonna want to try and land on your bolts simply because like after you already do the trick since your momentum is like turning if you land like too far forward or too far back the board's probably just gonna like slip out from under you because you're landing fakie or switch or whatever. So to make the landing as comfortable as possible, just try your hardest to land on your bolts, which is like the easiest part of the trick because when you do a regular ollie, your feet just naturally like land towards the middle of the board, like to like towards the bolts. Um, it's the same thing with the back 180. As soon as you do the trick, as soon as you do the ollie and everything, your feet are just naturally gonna wanna go to the bolts anyway. Um, so like as you're in the air as you're turning just focus on landing on the bolts and you should be fine It should just work out for you I just went outside and just filmed like some back 180s and some ollies you guys already saw it, but it's so windy It's like hard to skate like just pushing it's like it takes a lot out of you just to push But anyway, um back to the video also guys I'm thinking of growing my beard out a little bit Let me know what you guys think about it, but not a lot I don't want it to be like a like a beard beard just like a little southern one Like I got tired of just cutting it every day So I was just like I'm just gonna let it grow and see what happens. But anyway, um you guys are the ones that have to look at me, so let me know what you guys think. Okay, now, backside flips. The secret to backside flips is the same secret to back 180s. Turn your shoulders before you pop the trick, or like, at right as you're doing the pop. That just helps you, like, turn completely, the like, the full 180. It just helps you, it helps it out a lot. No, it's starting to rain. Fuck, man. Dude, this weather sucks. Whatever. Okay, now, backside flips. Um, Like I said, the main secret to backside flips, turn your shoulders before you do the trick. Foot placement is very similar to just a regular kickflip to me. Same thing with the back 180, like it's the exact same as the ollie for me. But with backside flips, it's pretty much the same, except what I usually do is I usually have my front foot a little bit more slanted and a little bit more of my heel hanging off the um, hanging off the board. I feel like that just makes it flip a lot faster. But the flick of the um, trick is still the same as the kickflip for me. I still, I still flick it the exact same way I do 
um, a normal kickflip, like all the way off to the side of the nose of the board. So that's still the same. But the back foot though, I feel like you have to scoop it a lot more than just a normal kickflip. So the back foot placement for me still kind of kind of the same as a regular kickflip. Like the whole motion of you doing the backside is turning your shoulders and popping. Like the foot placement doesn't really have to do too much with that but like i said you are gonna have to scoop it still but it doesn't really feel like a scoop it still feels just like a pop you know what i mean like a pop shove it like when you scoop a pop shove it it doesn't feel like a, a scoop it just feels like a pop and it just happens you know but yeah you do want to think about scooping it even though if it doesn't feel like a scoop you're gonna still want to have that thought in your head that it is a scoop so yeah basically when you turn your shoulders exact same as a back 180 turn your shoulders pop and just and just turn that way and then as you do the kick flip you're gonna want to try and catch it halfway through um the back 180 so like dude it sucks i have to explain it like this because i can't even freaking film outside so like as you do the kick flip you're gonna want to try and catch it like that and then turn the rest of the way that just makes it a lot easier i feel like to me because like if you actually do the whole thing and you try to catch it in the air while you're like about to land and like after you're already turned the 180 i just feel like it's just gonna cause you to slip out right as you land at least that's what happens for me dude it's raining no fuck but backside flips are not that hard like if you can kick flip and you can back 180 pretty good it, it'll be easy for you even if it's not easy trying it and trying to land it once you do land it you're gonna be like oh okay now i know what to do that wasn't that bad but like literally i can't stress this enough turn your shoulders right before you even do the trick don't try and just pop the trick do the kick flip and then turn that will not work or it might work for some people but like it makes it a lot harder and like i said with the back 180 as soon as you um like turn your shoulders and do the trick naturally your feet will just want to like go towards the bolts and like usually i don't really hear too much about people having trouble with landing a backside a backside flip like most people will just land it and then be uncomfortable and then just like fall off or whatever that's not really a problem with the trick or how you're doing the trick it's just it's just the momentum of you turning that way and then landing all of a sudden and then you're just going switch or fakie or whatever um it's just like a feeling you just have to kind of get used to and get comfortable with because if you're not used to like riding switch or riding fakie or whatever landing like that it's gonna feel uncomfortable so you just have to like get used to that feeling you know what i mean but yeah like i said if you can kickflip if you can back 180 if you're already comfortable with rolling fakie and nollie or whatever i mean switch then the landing shouldn't be too hard for you and when you do a regular kickflip you usually pop first and then do the flick but with backside flips i feel like you're gonna want to flick the same time as you're popping so like as your front foot is going down you're gonna want to already have your front foot flicking the board basically and like i said it just feels like the board flips faster so it'll make catching it a lot easier like i said you want to catch it and then finish the rest of the turn and then land instead of like popping flicking turning catching it and then landing like that just dip, that that just complicates the trick way too much but yeah pretty much if you just turn your shoulders before you do the trick and um as long as you get the flick right both of these tricks should just work out for you the back 180 and the backside flip because turning the 180 like doing the full 180 isn't usually a problem for most people like if you're trying a back 180 or a backside flip the 180 is going to be there like it's just naturally going to go with your shoulders and it's just going to naturally do the 180 so all you have to really focus on is turning your shoulders the flick basically if you can do those two things these tricks prob most likely will work out for you and like i said the landing oh my god someone in this parking lot as a tesla model x literally my dream car i want to go talk to him about it but i can't get too close to people all right what was i saying okay yeah like i was trying to say um the only thing you're gonna really have to like worry about with these tricks is the landing if if it makes you uncomfortable like if landing um like if landing switch or landing fakie whatever you want to call that like after you do a backside trick like do you roll fakie or switch whatever 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 you guys want to call it that part of the trick is probably going to be the most difficult if you're not comfortable with it but that's just something that you're going to have to get used to and get used to doing um but other than that hopefully these little tips help you out i feel like doing multiple trick tips in one video is like the way to do it because most people make trick tips way too long like it doesn't need to be that long just just like especially with like basic tricks most trick tip videos on youtube are like way too long and way too like in depth and i feel like they go, they don't need to be that way um but anyway hopefully these tips helped you guys if they did let me know in the comments if they didn't also let me know in the comments um also leave comments on what tricks you guys want me to make a trick tip on next yeah like i said hopefully this helped you guys out so i'm in the video hopefully you guys are all out there staying home staying safe staying clean and hopefully we can all go out back into the world sometime soon but anyway um if you guys liked the video leave a like subscribe if you're new and i'll see you guys on my next video peace <laughs>